Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to use open file dialog with your Visual Basic Windows form application. So I have this basic project which have one form and I have taken a button and I have changed the text of this uh, button as open file path. And I will also take a text box from here and place it here. And uh, what else I need is a open file dialog. So I will go to the toolbox and search for the open file dialog. Here it is. And I will drag and drop into the form. And you will notice that this will go below your form uh, because it's not a part of your form. It's not visible in your form. Okay. And you will notice also that you have this open file dialog one name for this open file dialog. Okay, now I will select my button and double click it. And here I will write a condition. So I will write if open file dialog dot show dialog and it has automatically created then, but I don't want then is equal to dialog result dot ok and then if this is ok so what it this sentence is doing is it will open the open file dialog and if the result of the file dialog or the path of which we have selected from the open file dialog is valid then it will execute the piece of the code which we want to execute so here we will uh, copy the path of the file we will select from the open file dialog and show it in the text box. So I will write text box 1 which is the name of my text box dot text is equal to op open file dialog 1 dot file name. Okay. So now I have written this piece of code and let's see what it does. So here is the form. I will, when I click the button, it opens the open file dialog and I can choose any file, for example, this text file. And when I click open, it copies the path of the file, text file, into my text box. Okay. Now it's done. There are some other pro properties which you can set with this open file dialog for example just select your open file dialog and first of all we can change the title of the open file dialog so for example we write open file and you can also set the initial directory of the file so just go to the property called initial directory and here for example i want to set this initial directory as c file so i can write c colon and backslash okay this is the initial directory i want to open one uh, other thing you can do is you can uh, filter your files for example you want only want to open the text file then you can set a filter for the text file from here also or you can uh, set the filter for the text file in this button click event also so what you can do is just double click this button and just make a space above this if condition and below this button click event and just copy this uh, open file dialog one and write dot filter is equal to and give this double quotation and here you can write the filter for your file so for example you can write text file this is the uh, text which is given by you so you can give uh, any text here but after this we give this pipe or or sign and we give star dot txt so what this means is the open file dialog will filter all the file which it sees with the, ex the extension of dot txt now for example you want to see also the pdf files then just write this 
pipe vertical pipe once again and write PDF uh, files which is an optional text which is given by you so this text can be anything but the extension so after that give one more pipe and then write star dot PDF so it will open the uh, every file or it will filter every file which has the extension PDF right now when I run the program and when I click this button you can see here it can see the text file which is set by me and it can see the PDF file which is set by me so you will be able to only see the text file and the PDF files right so let's search if I have some PDF or text files so I will go to some folder which can have the PDF file so I will choose the filter for PDF files here and now you can see I can see only the PDF files and not any other files or if I want to search for the text file which I don't have here then it will filter for the text files right but it's searching for the PDF file because this folder contains only PDF files and other files which are not text files now oh, and if you want to choose all the files what you need to do is just go here and give this pipe once again and write all files and once again the pipe and write star dot star it will show you all the files with all the extensions right so once again I will open the file dialog and now when I choose here all files it will show me all file extensions this extension or when I go to other folders it will show me other files ex file extension which I was not able to see earlier right so you in this way you can set the filters now there is one more good property here in this open file dialog which is you can select multiple files so let me demonstrate how can you select multiple files so just click this text box and let's make this uh, text box multi-line okay so it, it can show multiple lines and then just select this open file dialog and search for the property called multi select by default it's false so make it true and now you will be able to select multiple files now what you need to do is you can go here all the code will remain same but in here what you can do is instead of open file dialog one dot file name you just need to give open file dialog one dot file names so we have added this extra s to the file and you can just give plus sign here so it will just give you the uh, uh, path one by one or it's better to show it in the message box then to demonstrate it better so let's make a message box so I will create a message box dot show and in the message box we will give the extension or all the files which we have selected and now when I run the program it's showing me some error let's see what the error is okay so now I can see the error because I am selecting the multiple files so I need a kind of a loop to iterate all the files so what I will do is I will create a for loop for x is equal to 0 to open file dialog one dot 
फाइल नेम डॉट काउंट एंड देन जस्ट प्रेस एंटर एंड जस्ट कॉपी दिस मैसेज बॉक्स मैसेज एंड इन दिस फाइल आफ्टर दिस फाइल नेम्स just pass this variable x from here right and this should be file names instead of file name so this is a very long code so if you want you can just pause the video and copy all the code and now when i run the program and when i click this open file path i can select multiple files from here let me select all files first and for example i want to choose 1 2 3 4 by pressing control button i can select multiple files and when i click open it will show me first file which i have selected then it will show me the path of second file which i have selected then the path of third file and then the path of fourth file right so in this way you can also select multiple files with your open file dialog right and i have noticed that it has given me the error because this is counting from 0 so we must minus 1 uh, do mi minus 1 from here because it was counting open file dialog count plus 1 because it's starting from 0 okay so just add this minus 1 after this count so in this way you can use open file dialog with your visual basic windows form application i hope you have enjoyed this video